Hello, I'm Luis Nuño. I'm a professor in the area of signal theory and communications at the Polytechnic University of Valencia in Spain. Now we are going to analyze the beats which are produced when several sounds are played at the same time and how these beats are avoided in just intonation. As I explained in other presentations, every sound is composed by harmonics. The equal temperament perfectly matches the harmonic 2, which is the octave, but not the other harmonics. Just or pure intonation perfect, perfectly matches several harmonics, numbers 2, 3, 5 and sometimes 7. With these harmonics we can obtain the major chord and the dominant 7th chord. On the contrary, a minor chord must be built in an artificial way. As I said, we are going to analyze the beats which are produced when several sounds are played at the same time. For doing that, we will use electronic instruments such as tone and armchair, which we saw in other presentations. Then we will compare two cadences in both systems, one in major mode and the other in minor mode, in this case played with instruments from the violin family. Finally, some conclusions. These are the first harmonics represented on the chromatic circle and these are the 12 notes in equal temperament. In order to distinguish between two notes, we need that the difference between them be at least 10 cents, which is the just noticeable difference. The major chord is, is built with harmonics 3 and 5 and the dominant 7th chord is built with harmonics 3, 5 and also 7. A minor chord cannot be built from harmonics, it is built from a major chord by inverting its structure. To analyze the beats we are going to use electronic instruments with constant amplitude. In a real instrument the amplitude is variable as we can see in this example. Let's start with the tone. This is the sound. It only has one spectral line. Now let's listen to C major chord played with tones in equal temperament. We can perceive the beats which is this kind of vibrato in amplitude and in just intonation there are no beats. Let's listen again. Equal temperament. We can listen, we can hear the beats and in just intonation there are no beats. Now let's try with a minor chord, C minor in equal temperament. The beats are smaller but they are still present. Then in just intonation there is no beats. Again, equal temperament and just intonation. And now let's consider C dominant seventh chord with tones equal temperament. We can hear clearly the beats and in just intonation there are no beats. Again, equal temperament with beats and just intonation no beats. Now let's consider the armchair. This is the sound. This signal has several spectral lines. Let's listen to a C major chord with this uh, sound. Equal temperament. We can clearly perceive the beats while in just intonation there are no beats. Again, equal temperament with beats and just intonation no beats. Now a minor chord, C minor, equal temperament 
The beads are smaller, but they are still present, while in just intonation, there are no beats. Again, equal temperament and just intonation. Finally, C dominant seventh chord, equal temperament. The beats are clearly perceived, while in just intonation, there are no beats. Again, equal temperament with beats and just intonation with no beats. Now let's consider two cadences in both systems, one in major mode and the other in minor mode. Both are compound, perfect and authentic cadences. Let's start with the, with the cadence in major mode. Let's listen chord by chord. The first one in equal temperament and just intonation. The difference is note E. The notes that change in both systems are marked with an asterisk. Let's listen to the second chord, equal temperament and just intonation. Now the difference is note A. Third chord, equal temperament, just intonation. The difference is note B. And now the last chord, equal temperament, just intonation. Now let's listen to the full cadence, first in equal temperament, and now with just intonation. And now the cadence in minor mode, first chord in equal temperament and just intonation. Now the E flat is a bit higher. Let's listen to the second chord in equal temperament, just intonation, third chord equal temperament, just intonation, and the last chord, equal temperament, and just intonation. Now let's listen to the full cadence, first in equal temperament, and just intonation. We consider two systems, the equal temperament and pure or just intonation. We listen to the main chords, major, dominant seventh and minor chords in both systems. We play them with electronic instruments by using the tone and the amp chair. And finally, we compare two cadences in both systems, one in major mode and the other in minor mode. In this case, played with instruments from the violin family. The main conclusion is that chords with just intonation do not produce any beat.
You can find all the information on the webpage harmoniquill.com. Thank you very much for your attention.